In this video, I show you some Death Watch conversions. Hello, this is Craig from Bitbox.co.uk, and in this special conversion corner video, I show off some Death Watch miniatures from my collection and show off how I've made them unique to um, fit the characterization of their chapter. So before I begin, if you are new to this channel, then please do feel free to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all our latest videos, and if you don't want to miss a thing, then please do hit that bell icon. So let's get straight into it. So I've actually pulled out my whole Death Watch force here. Um, some of them do have the Kill Team Cassius, but I do think they're worth looking at um, for when you want ideas of how to really sort of bring out your sort of chapter feel or characterization in these miniatures. And yeah, we'll go through the conversions. Let's get in shot a bit more. So, yeah, let's just start with the Kill Team Cassius and talk about them. So, you need to sort of, um, as he pulls up a chair, you need to really sort of get the little sort of details what sort of makes each chapter unique and they do it quite well with these so if you think of something like the Raven Guard um, even just giving them the Corvus armor as it's you know it's their most sort of popular or what they're sort of known for really so yeah obviously a Raven Guard will naturally have the sort of Corvus armor so it's worth using some of them bits if you want to do a Raven Guard for an Iron Hand for example, you can add some bionic pieces, which they've done here to show off that he's an iron hand. Um, obviously, robes work really well for Dark Angels. Bike for White Scar. Um, you've got your jump pack for your Blood Angel, etc. And yeah, you've got fire and stuff for the salamanders. And if you've got someone with a flame a weapon or a melt weapon, maybe make him a salamander. So yeah, that's what they've sort of done there. So I'm trying to do a similar thing myself with my guys, but I'm, I've been using more obscure chapters here rather than some of the natural ones. So we can show off what we've, or what I've been doing with the obscure chapters. So here's a guy who's um, the scythe of the Emperor, and naturally I've given him a scythe. Now this scythe, um, I can't remember exactly what set the scythe's from, but you can get them from some, several Nurgle sets and the Deadwalker zombies. And all I've done is just chopped off part of the Thunder Hammer and given him a scythe there. I've also used a blade here from Dark Elder or Drukhari. Added that onto his backpack. And yeah, that sort of represents him as a scythe of the, the size of the Emperor. And I'm here. Um, Brows and Claws, I think they are. You have to forgive me with some of these chapters. And um, I've added this little sort of claw here from the um, Admech Rust Stalkers and that's basically all I've done on this guy. Oh and I've added some more on his backpack so just like little claw pieces to say like you know I'm from the Brazen Claws. I think it's Brazen Claws Brazen Claws I don't know but they have claws in their name so um, this guy's uses some of the Forge World Red Scorpion pieces so you know any sort of unique chapter pieces I know you can get like Obviously the Red Scorpions from Forge World, GW do some for like Crimson Fist and stuff like that, um, very handy to use. This is one of my favourites. So this is a Howlin' Griffin. And I've essentially turned his backpack um, into a Griffin, so... Again, I've used the claws from the Admech, but we've got like the Eagle Head. So this is actually based off the Space Marine Commander backpack. Then added a wing and then a lion's tail to sort of represent like this is a griffin in his backpack. So I'm really happy with how that one turned out. And this one, I think, are they the executioners for cross scythes? I might be wrong, but I've given him like a skull helmet because they have a skull on that icon. I don't know if how good the light is in here to pick up that shoulder pad. And then I've got a couple of little bits. I think these are from the dead. Dreadwalker Zombie as well, I might be wrong. No, they might be from Dark, um, Dark Elves actually, from a Dark Elf standard pile. I've just added them onto his backpack. Um, so what else we got? I think this is, um, they soul, no, not soul drinkers. They might just be blood drinkers. Soul drinkers are something completely different, but, um, 
yeah, just using some Blood Angels bits there for him. Pretty straightforward, got a little chalice on the backpack. I know it's got like via hem. Death Company cross on there, but probably not too ideal. Um this guy is one of the Um no this guy is actually a Death Watch. Now that might sound strange to some of you because he's in power armor, but um in the fluff you do actually get Death Watch um uh start I'll try that again. Death Wing Death Watch So yeah he's a Death Wing I might say Death Watch but he's a Death Wing in um power armor and yeah in the Death Watch you do get Death Wing people brought in and they might have to wear power armor for certain missions and they you know they comply so that's what this guy is And um, we have a black shield here, just regular black shield, I think. Um, giving them some stand guard legs. And I think the torso is forge world as well. And um, yeah, lastly, out of these is my angry marine. So if you're familiar with the angry marines, this is a stupid little chapter, little fan made chapter. But um, yeah, he's given given the enemy a finger though. Just a silly little thing. Um, the intercessors, whilst not really converted up too much for their specific chapters, um, I do want to show them off because um, obviously you can have all the Primera stuff in the Death in the Death Watch these days, and I just want to show how easy it is to convert them up. So you just take the intercessors' um, torsos and legs, and you can literally just stick on your Death Watch arms or stick on your intercessor arms. Try and keep them in short. Um, shoulder pads, heads, and backpacks all all go on pretty fine. Um, one of them do, yeah. This one does actually have the actual Death Watch arms, so even you know they're, they're a little bit shorter, but not really much to notice. And I keep going off to one side. And lastly, we just have a bike and a Vanguard. So if you're familiar with our channel, if you've been around long enough, you'll remember the Emerald Aces. And um, that's my homebrew chapter. So not really much conversion work here, but he uses a Mark IV helmet. That's quite common in my chapter. And then we have a Vanguard. So another homebrew chapter of mine from years and years ago were called the Sons of Sparta. And that was their home chapter symbol, because I was just lazy. So yeah, he's got a Spartan shield. Just from a third party, I have no idea who, but um, I'm sure you can find some online. And then he's got this spear as well, which I think is from the Emperor's Children from Horus Heresy. And I've made him a Vanguard vet, because I thought that'd be quite cool. I'm um, using this helm as well. Gives him that sort of Sparta feel. So, really like how he's came out. He's sort of the leader of this squad there. Um, I think this one... I can't remember for once what chapter they are, but I've given him lightning claws. Um, they're from a Tartarus time that is set, just stuck on regular power fists, I thought that works quite well. And we have a bits box marine, so he's got the bits box logo on there. Now are these storm lords. I think that's the Storm Lord. I've just given him like the Storm Lord lightning bolt on his shield, but again, not really much conversion work. And then this this one's from a very obscure chapter called the Halo Dragons, and I've sort of freehanded their little thing on there. But again, conversion work is still quite minimal on this one. But I quite like how the Power Sword has come out. And just lastly, at the back, um, just regular rhinos, which I just bought off eBay. Actually, I don't even paint them. Um, just a little, just a chaplain dreadnought I thought would look quite cool. So yeah, that's the, um, this was turned out to be more of a Death Watch Army showcase, but I hope you guys have some sort of rough ideas if you want to convert up some of your own. I thought it would be nice just to show them off and sort of talk you through my thought process behind the conversions. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, I'll see you again very soon.
If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.